Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Bath & Body Works 3 Wick Candle in Marshmallow Fireside, which this year has three different versions. So this is the 2017 wrap version with the text that looks like this. I love this panel with the marshmallows. It makes me so hungry. And this kind of like dusky picture. I think this is pretty, but I wish they were kind of blended together better because kind of the transitions are really jarring and weird looking. But I like the text on this a lot better than the other version, which I also have. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where it went. So here's the bottom. The notes on this are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. And this wrap version is $24.50, but you can find them on sale. Please always find a sale or a coupon for their candles. It also comes in the white barn version this year. However, this is the one I will be reviewing. Just kidding. I just found it. Here is the cheapest version of it this year, which I also have and have burned a few times, but not as much as this version. So this one's $22.50 and looks like this. So again, I'm not entirely sure if all versions are the same or if they're burning differently for people. This is my review on this one. Um, if you want to hear about the other one, I can let you know. And on this one, unfortunately, I just tried to light it. I thought I had another burn or two left, but it will not let me burn it. And the wicks have kind of fallen in half. It extinguished itself. And I definitely thought I had another burn or two out of it. I think the wax is still up to here or so. Usually I will have it burning in the video. You can just kind of watch the glow, but for this one, I can't burn it anymore. So I could just throw it in an empties video, but I really wanted to review this one. I was gonna do it last night when I was burning it, but I just ended up thinking I'd do it today and now it's gone. So I feel like anyways, this is a more honest review because now you know how it burned up until the very end. This collection also has the braided lid, which I love. It's an interesting kind of coppery color. I'm not entirely sure how to explain that color, but it's really pretty. So um, packaging I like here. I definitely like the vertical text better. I think the other version is a little uglier. So I've been obsessed with this scent. I was even burning it over the summer. I had a little wallflower mini candle of it that I've also gone through basically. And so I really wanted a three wick and the first two or three burns on this had barely any throw. I had to put my nose over it. Whereas the wallflower one, which is a little like four ounce and this one's 14 and a half ounces. So you'd think it'd be a whole heck of a lot stronger because there's three wicks. No, the first couple burns on this, no smell, had to put my nose right in it to smell it. But after that, it got a little stronger. It is in my kitchen, which is kind of a bigger area and it kind of connects to everything else. So uh, maybe the scent was getting a little lost. But after that, it did get a little stronger. It burned pretty well. And then about at the halfway point, uh, it was burning really fast up until here. No problems pulling out. And then I got the puniest wicks. I think I cotton balled this twice and it still had very small wicks towards the end, which you can tell even though they kind of snapped in half. So I can't entirely tell if this was white wax or the kind of lighter gray wax I usually do with this candle because it did get a little dirty, but there is quite a lot of wax left. Usually I can get my Bath & Body Works candles to burn a little bit lower. So I'm a little annoyed with that. Definitely had the puny wicks. Didn't throw till the halfway point, but I love this scent so much that I would gladly rebuy it. I think I would try a different version, uh, maybe even the White Barn one, even though I think that one's just like a brown or a gray color with, you know, the little like fancy White Barn lid, very simple looking. So um, my other version isn't throwing very strong either, but it's also in the beginning. So I think this one just gets stronger as it goes. You're just gonna have to look out for the wicks. Not much sooting problems. You can see a little bit of mess on the inside. I think that's just a scorch mark, but you can see it didn't really, there's some wax residue on the side. It wasn't pulling out great, which is weird because usually if there's a wraparound or like thicker glass, you would think it would pull out faster because it gets hotter. I guess the wrap is just decorative. It's not really going to help you there, but yeah, that was my experience. Um, really the strength and throw fluctuated throughout. It started probably like a three in strength and went to maybe like a seven and a half, eight, it got pretty good when I walked in the room, I could smell it, but I couldn't really smell it in other rooms, which was a shame because I'm really, really liking this scent this season. So uh, maybe the throw started at like a four and went to like a six and a half, seven, not super strong. Whereas the wallflower one was very strong. It would go through my whole apartment, even though it was tiny. So very interesting how that happened. Not a lot of scent oil in this one. There could also be batch variation. Think I'm going to try the other versions 
definitely the white barn one to see how it goes. Um, so let me know if you've tried any of the marshmallow firesides this year, what your favorite candles right now are and how they're doing for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I hope it helped you out if you were on the market for this one. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what other fall or winter candles you might want reviews on. I want to do some more because I have so many and I just want to share my thoughts. Uh, so they're not all trapped in my head and so I can help you guys figure out if you should spend money on them or not. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Turn on post notifications to never miss one. This is going to be in a candle empty soon. So if you don't want to miss that, turn on those notifications. I have a second vlog channel you can check out and I will see you guys in my next video. Three, two, one, bam!